Westwood Cliffs. The bombardiers would be listening to the lead bombardier. And when he said bombs away and we'd see the bombs coming, they'd, they'd hit the toggle switch real fast. But as we got towards Berlin, the sky turned gray. It was a, we got into another dimension. Bombs burst, shells bursting all, all around. We're flying right through it. We knew we were getting hit. You could feel the plane would be rocking around in concussion. And you could hear that flat pieces of silk carrying holes in the aluminum skin of your airplane. And um, not only that, but the wind changed or something. It either a jet stream we didn't know about. We were under fire for almost a half hour, if you can imagine that. It was almost like five or six hours. Nobody on our plane got hurt. We got back to the, to the field. I think one of our planes got lost, or lost, shot down. Got back to the field, and I think that I hear the radio man again said, why don't we count the holes in the plane? We took a lot of damage. We started counting and got tired of counting at 300 holes in that airplane. And you couldn't tell from flying it. Nothing vital had been hit. Some of the holes were big, big as my fist, most of them were about the size of a quarter. In different shapes and jagged. Some went right through the plane. They went in one side and out the other. And um, that, I think, was probably and we, we lost a lot of airplanes. The first, the first report was that we lost 68 D-17s on that on one day. Then it was changed to 48 with B-24s included. Then it, I think somebody, it, in print, in the newspaper, it came up 28. They didn't want to tell you the, tr the truth at that time. So I think we closer to 48 airplanes, 480 men if, uh, if they all went down. And, uh, and you can't get out of that airplane if, it's, if it starts spinning. You can't get out. After D-Day in the St. Lowell Peninsula near Normandy by superior German forces and our group as well as other groups carried anti-personnel bombs and dropped them just a couple of miles in front of our own troops into the German area. And uh, after two days of that, the German general was, was quoted as saying, I have no more troops, no more guns, no more tanks, everything is lost which was an over, they, they still had some, some opposition going on there. That we saved thousands of American lives. By we, I mean the 8th Air Force that had, to, that had this mission to do. So those two things, I think, were things that I'll always remember and be glad that I was in on them. We're 20,000. Imagine that. I've read 30,000, 20, 28. I've read 30, I've read 20, 29 and 28. So I say over 28,000 men were killed. More than the Marine Corps. Imagine that, just, just the eighth Air Force. But thousands of us got home okay, like me. Pretty proud of the destruction we had done to Hitler's war machine.